Beloved from Elder Wilcox. He gave a wonderful talk, I could share it here, um, with the Church Education Week that is takes place at BYU. And he spoke to the educators and he spoke about the scripture of after all we can do. Okay, so Nephi, when he's talking about that, um, I love how he emphasizes, Elder Wilcox, Elder Wilcox and emphasizes every word, after all we can do. Um, and he explains each one if we emphasize each word. And then realizing as well, which was new to many people, um, but familiar when I heard it, was that it was after all we, as in we with the Savior, can do. Not as we as a human race, which I find a, a lot of people, um, and he mentioned, feel that way. That it's after all we can do, we have to keep going, we have to just do it. Um, but it's not us alone, it's after all we with the Savior, you and the Savior, me and the Savior, after all we can do, and incorporating him in our lives with the atonement and covering us with that love, that's how Heavenly Father can really come into our lives. And um, just keeping that in mind, that that's more than a physical, um, like, tangible, it's something that's far more reaching, far more um, powerful than something that we can physically even put on, but that it's a protection and it's a safety that he wants to give us if we're willing to embrace that. And it is, after all, then what we can do together. And then another um, parable I just wanted to share, which I love is about an oxen. It could be a true story. Um, the woman who told me um, said it's possible. And so she's taking it as truth, which I think would be totally normal. The um, At the time, and she's from England, at the time they were doing a lot more of the gardening and, and um, tilling of the land. And so there were oxen being put up for auction. And they had oxen paired together. And then they would pull a load and see how they press the line and the time that it takes for them and then the look of the oxen and the strength of the oxen to then go um, and see the rate that they were worth. And then you see some wonderfully paired oxen, um, gorgeous, strong, um, equally yoked oxen are pulling this load and doing a great um, job. And then you see the last one is this incredibly strong ox. Stronger than any of the other ones. So imagine this. Uh, yoked with a very weak and frail ox. And they did the, the lo they loaded them up, did the time. It was faster than any other pair of oxen. And... This is because that, that stronger ox took the load um, of both oxen and yet still was carrying that other one with him. And that is the Savior. He is a God. He has power that we didn't have. Um, he has a literal divine lineage um, that we have, but we are mortal. And embracing that, that he's willing to say, that's why I did this. That's why I became the savior. That's why I took that calling way back that I want to do this for my siblings, for my brothers and sisters, that I love them and I want them to be home with my father and our father. And we want to be home together as a family. And being an older sibling, I can really relate to that. I don't know if many people do um, feel that same way, but um, I would do anything for my kid, my siblings, my kids, <laughs> they're basically my kids. Um, but that's 
and maybe for your kids you'd feel that way um but this is just something that gives us an opportunity that's why you know everything's so sacred um marriage and all these things and it's hard when it's been broken um so it, all the same it's broken you know and um i love in the scriptures when christ says there'll be more of the desolate wife than the um plentiful and i mean there's so much divorce right now uh, i think we're at the highest rate in the church um in yeah <laughs> so uh it's just something that's you know you're not alone just know you're definitely not alone there's so many people who are dealing with this and then there's the savior who's dealt with all of this and the rejection the pain the suffering and he can be like that oxen and be that stronger person and you don't need to try and be the strong as he is he knows you're not and he doesn't want you to be he wants you to be yoked with him though and to do it as after all we can do so i just want to bear that testimony and i will post the talk if you're interested um with elder wilcox's talk to the church education week um at byu devotional and I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you.